So hello, welcome one and all to what is certainly in terms of international football in Latin America, the ultimate grudge match. Two absolute superpowers who also happen to be neighbours on a continent widely recognised as football's home. It is a rivalry that has a history which lasts well over a century and has of course been ranked top of all footballing rivalries by media and supporters alike. It comes as little surprise then that this game is considered to be international football's equivalent of the Super Classico. The 11 of Brazil, the 11 of Argentina, some of them friends, many foes in club football lining up for a united cause. We are in this super stadium for a super club, truly one of the iconic buildings of 21st century sport, the Allianz Arena. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. This is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full-on, then I'll be happy to watch that. And already we're underway here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, William. He's one of the best around when it comes to close control with pace, and that makes him an explosive dribbler at times who's very tricky to stop. He's also a very... He's had a go! Lovely feet. Out to the left it goes. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. He's left his man. Real chance! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Fernandinho. Brazil have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a got a shot away. And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. For a moment you thought that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Now the breakaway. Now it's Tibala. Now can he capitalise? Messi! Goal! Argentina! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it and. That was a good example, great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Argentina take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, that goal has got the whole stadium rocking here. This is exactly the kind of atmosphere the players should feed off now. Has a goal! He's got away with one there. A chance that's created through very good grafting. 
reacted well to get in the face of his opponent. All the way back, and they start again. Thiago Silva into the final five minutes of the first half. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Messi. That's Dybala. Marquinhos drives it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close fourth half of football. But Rocket still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. More than a decent game up to now. Brought back on the first 45 minutes. A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, son. It's paying dividends. Argentina come in, having established that lead. Where uh, the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And the game has already resumed here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. He's got... It's Aguero! A real chance and a real let-off. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. And it's played forward. Daniel Alves. Dani Alves plays it forward. Otamendi tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Aguero. He gets past his man. Aguero has a hit! He has done it! And this is getting better and better. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Argentina get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. And he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Now it's Dybala, and now they can launch a counter. Just the keeper to... He's had a shot! And that would have been some goal. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. Thiago Silva tries to switch the play. Driving on a real charge here. And that's been levered clear. Has a pop! Oh, he's managed to miss it. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. Fernandinho. And it's Coutinho. Philippe Coutinho. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. Hoists it forward. Now it's Aguero. Well played, he saw that coming. Four extra minutes added on. Shots! Oh, 
so close to what would have been a memorable goal. And that's it. Roger heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. The end of the game, reflections. Argentina made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today.